Good evening, YouTube. Brewed by me, back again. Yes, I am. Going to be doing another review tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be doing another Mill Street product. It's their wheat beer flavored with blueberries. Walker's Blueberry Wheat Beer. Um, this came out in their summer seasonal or spring seasonal, whatever you want to call it. Um, along with uh, their Tank House and their Organic Pilsner and their Ombre de la Chardier and uh, the Lemon Tea Beer, I think. Anyways, Walker's Blueberry Wheat is made with a blend of wheat and barley malt with an infusion of pureed blueberries added during secondary fermentation. The result is a fresh, bright berry colored beer with a nice balance of malt sweetness and fruit acidity. Some of the blueberries come to us direct from a Mill Street family member's farm. Ingredients, water, mal malted barley, malted wheat, blueberry puree, and hops. 5% ABV. Brewed by me. BB Bafla. My Mill Street glass. Let's, let's roll her up. It's a wheat beer, so there might be yeast in the bottle. Standard Mill Street cap, gold with red writing. Mm, it smells good. Let's give her a pour. Huh. Alright. So I've only had one other blueberry beer, and it was the Pump House Blueberry Ale. And it wasn't bad. Um, there was no color like this. This is kind of like a pinkish pinkish orange in color. So they did add some blueberries to it. Or maybe they added coloring, I'm not sure. There is no head. Um, like I said, it's pink in color. Uh, not too much carbonation. It's unfiltered. So let's give her a smell. Very weedy, very bready. A slight bit of blueberries, a slight bit of maltiness. Kind of smells like uh, wheat bread or biscuity, maybe. Oh man, did that last night too. Anyways, let's give her a taste. Okay, it tastes like a wheat beer. Um, <clears throat> kind of sweet. It's kind of like a sweet sour. Um, kind of bready, kind of biscuity. Um, a very, very, very faint amount of blueberry I'm picking up. Like a very faint... A bit of blueberry flavor. Um, I don't know. I think the Pump House uh, blueberry beer had a bit more blueberry flavor to it than this one. Um, this one looks better um, because it's uh, it's not filtered and it actually looks like they did put blueberries in it because it's kind of a, a pinkish color. So, but I'm not picking up a very strong flavor of blueberries which I thought I might have, but it's not bad. And it's not as sweet as I would have thought either. Um, I'm picking up some tannins from the blueberry skin. There is a slight bit of acidity, um, you know, so this would be good with, uh, you know, a nice beef, um, <clears throat> 
Well, I think it would be nice with a, like a steak dinner or uh, maybe a roast chicken or something like that. Um, it's fairly drinkable, fairly sessionable. Um, you know, in my opinion, like me being a home brewer, it's good for what it is, but it could be better. Uh, by that I mean it could be more blueberry uh, flavoring there. Like, if you're going to call it a blueberry beer, add blueberries. You know, who cares? Don't add one pound or two pounds or whatever it is, add more. Um, the more the merrier, they say, um, you know, like from my five gallon batches I brew, I put 10 pounds of fruit in it if it's a fruit beer. Um, excuse me. Now, when I do that, I get a lot of flavor. Maybe later on tonight I'll give you guys a, I'll do a, a sample of my orange honey half and Weissen. And, uh, my pa my pineapple pale ale is not ready yet, but uh, I'll do one of those too. But you know, I use 10 pounds of fruit in both of those batches. So, anyways, it's it's uh, it's not bad. It's decent. Uh, you know, it's not what I expected. Um, it is a good beer. Uh, it is sessionable. It's a summer beer. Um, some nice flavoring there, but. Not as much flavoring as I would like, but, oh well, maybe it's their uh, first time brewing it, which I think it is. So with practice comes perfect perfection, so, anyways, um, so like I said, there is some acidity there, there's some blueberries, there is a kind of like a, a floral bitterness. <clears throat> kind of like a sour bitterness too, I guess, from the, the, the blueberry skins, the tannins are creating a slight bit of bitterness there. Take a swig, nice sweetness up front as it goes back. It's fairly uh, light bodied, not too much carbonation as it goes back, you get that little bit of blueberry and, and wheat and biscuit and all that stuff. So, not bad. Uh, malt profile, uh, you know, I'm going to say, uh, we'll say 50-50, 50% two row and 50% wheat, and, uh, or maybe, uh, we'll say, no, we'll say 48 wheat, 48 uh, two row and 2% uh, uh, crystal, or a specialty malt, maybe a biscuit or victory, yeah, that's what I'm going to say, and for the hops, um, Probably a clean, crisp kind of floral hop. Um, maybe um, <clears throat> uh, felt and uh, I think it's it starts with uh, not Amarillo, but uh, Anhurst or something like that. Anyways. Anyways, cheers, Mill Street. Not a bad beer. You did an okay job with it. So if you can find it, Walker's Blueberry Wheat. Give it a whirl. Made by the Mill Street Brewery in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 5% ABV. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave any comments or suggestions in the bottom box there, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye. Thanks for watching.